After two days in Paris, crying at famous landmarks, looking for Quasimodo at Notre Dame, and checking out beautiful, beautiful bookstores, we finally tried our luck at getting into the Louvre. Good morning. We always find ourselves under an umbrella. Yes, this is how we first met. Right now, we're just gonna be walking to the loop. I don't think we're gonna be able to get in <laughs> because it's late. We took our time this morning. So that's fine. Uh, what else are we doing today? We don't really know. We're just gonna wander around. Steak and fries. And do the steak and fries. Shout out to Trish who put that idea in Joshua's head and now we have to have it. This is like <laughs> no. This it's is just like raining. One spot. It's just raining, and I. Hate uh, it. <laughs> it's fine. Wait, let me Google pertinent stuff about the First of all, it's pronounced the Lou. Yes. There's a British lady earlier. She kept going. We have to go to the Louvre. The Louvre. <laughs> you know. No, you're wrong. Just say it. Babe, uh -oh. you have, can you hold this? Wait, it's stuck in my hand. The Louvre Museum is the world's largest art museum and historic monument in Paris. It is large. <laughs> it is Louvre. Yeah, it's the Louvre. No. Musée du Louvre. Louvre. This has approximately 38,000 objects over an area of 72,735 square meters. Oh, it used to be a palace. Wait, the museum is housed in the Louvre Palace. Yeah, so a lot of Which is a castle? Well, a lot of what we're looking at is probably the palace. This is the royal oh. palace. This all is of, the royal palace? All of this is probably part of the royal palace. Okay, that's all we have for now. Okay. Tune in next time to, to Isa. Isa does oh. Google. Isa Googles. Like, Babe, it's the internet. You know. We need it to you, live. Remember yesterday when you were doing my OOTD? And I was just like. Oh, is that what that was? You were like what post do you want? And I said, just keep on taking. Yeah, and you've never said that to me before. You've always told me what shot you want, or you've allowed, you've allowed me to frame it, you've let me yeah. use my expertise. But in this particular, I was actually kind of annoyed because you actually just yeah. said, just keep pressing. And I was like, <laughs> you know I'm better than that, babe. So, um, oh, so we were just talking about it, that new Google Pixel 3 function, top shot, top shot that sort of takes a bunch of photos and allows you to pick one after it. That is a godsend for Instagram boyfriends <laughs> because that will allow you to just stand there, take one photo, and pick from like a bunch. Not you though, because you can compose your photo. Thank you. <laughs> That's a pretty short line considering, right? Because look at the railing. It is because it's raining. It's also the armistice, so... Yeah, and people are like, I don't want to go because there's going to be a lot of people. Let's okay. call them. Actually, so excited. We didn't expect the line to be that short. We actually came here prepared not to go inside the museum, but we it's it's every first Sunday from October to March. The museum's free. So there wasn't the line and the museum's free and we're inside and we're gonna see. <laughs> Okay, slight hiccup. <laughs> so admission to the building was free. Oh, mm -hmm. so admission to the building is free, but we still have to pay to get into the museum. So that's what we're doing now. Also, we figured out the mystery. The mystery 
is it's not the first Sunday of November, hence it is not now. Nah, we're just trying to find the Mona Lisa and the Venus Day. There's so much detail in this one room, it's crazy. Somehow, like a grocery store puts basics like bread and eggs at the back so that when you get to the... So, so when you try to get there, you have to go through everything. I don't know how I feel. Whoa! This is a cool cafe. Whoa! The cafe. Okay, we're in the wrong place then. Getting hungry. How much? How much paint do you think they use stuff for that one? Oh, like all of them. All of the There's paint. No more paint. <laughs> There's no more. Oh. What is going on? Well, you dropped the camera. Yeah, but. We're trying to find that. Yeah, but. On the other side, it said it was in there. We don't know where it is, and we've been walking back and forth the same hall. So we are here, and we keep on going back and forth and back and forth. We can't find them. Yeah, the but we've like before. passed that twice, and I'm we can't give find it, the corner. I'm corridor. gonna give it one more look. Okay. We're gonna find it. Are we just being stupid? I don't understand. Son of a bitch. So <laughs> <laughs> we passed through this hall so many times. I don't. Oh. All for this one little painting. So this is the Mona Lisa. This is Joshua Story. This is actually a portrait of the Lagia Conda. Its famous technique is the mato, which means like smoke to the eyes, and that's why it's such a that's why it's such a big deal painting. Because if you look at the edges of her mouth, you don't know if she's about to smile or if she's about to frown. And that's the whole beauty it's of that painting at, technique. And it's always looking at you, right? That's a fun, yeah. But the funny thing about this here is like this painting is not the pick up shape. If you look at it, her veil has been erased because at some point restoration fucked up. So yeah. But also that she's always looking at you thing. It might be because of the background about how like if you look at the sides, they're not really equal. And you know like that that's a great trick where you your eyes are sort of being pulled to different directions. Expectation, reality. Your thoughts on finally seeing the Mona Lisa? You know how you said that you see the Eiffel Tower in so many different places, like on, in media and all that? So when you saw it in real life, 
uh, it overwhelms you a little bit. Uh -huh. That wasn't this. I know so much about this painting because I studied it. It's pretty, but so is like the rest of the stuff. Yeah, there's literally a room around us that you can see where there are things that are just as and as interesting. even bigger. <laughs> well, I mean, size doesn't always matter, but I mean, there are. I, I, I can't imagine, I remember some people were saying, I can't imagine that the Mona Lisa was the very, 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 very first painting to do the things it did. I agree. I mean, don't get me wrong, I believe it's a pretty painting. It's just, it's not as overwhelming as seeing the Eiffel Tower. Babe, that one, dude is grabbing that girl's tip. <laughs> Demonetize. Uh, That's exactly what we make fun of other tourists for doing. That's so funny. <laughs> Steak and fries already sounds good, uh, but the sauce they put on it, it's like this mustard based sauce. I can't, believe, really I can't believe this is making me do things still. I've been out in the cold for around uh, an hour. I have like seven. Yeah, <laughs> the line is like really long now. Um, <laughs> this is all Trisha's fault. What are, what's going on? <laughs> what? Are you happy? How many are you ordering? I don't know. Oh, I don't know how it works. Are we having wine? Want wine? Yeah. A bottle between us? Mm, how much wine did we have last night? A whole bottle. Half a bottle. All I know is that it's a prefix menu. With a salad, you get the fries and the And on the stick, you put this very thick sauce. That's mostly mustard. Is it a mustard on the table? I don't know if you can keep getting this. I saw one table get two rounds of it. I don't know what it goes with that. week as I visit beautiful, beautiful El Nido in Palawan, Philippines. <laughs>